Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install or how to use Judge Me app for Shopify. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to our Shopify account. So go to Shopify.com, log in into your account, and access your store. Now for us to start adding Judge Me app into our Shopify store, we have to visit the Shopify app store. Now at the bottom left of your screen, you should see the settings icon. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, look for the option that says apps and sales channel. Now from here, click on the button that says Shopify app store at the top right. And from here, that should actually open up the app store here. Now in this case, go to the top section here, which includes the search app guides and more. Go ahead and click on it and type in the following, which is going to be Judge me and just press on enter now from here you should be able to see different applications so in this case we want to use the judge me product reviews now they have a free plan here let's go ahead and click on it and from here click on the install button now this should redirect you to another window which in this case is going to ask you if you really want to install the application to your store now in this case just click on the install button and that would actually initiate the installation process now, in this case, the installation process is actually pretty easy. It's going to basically guide you on how to start using it. So first, it's going to welcome you into the Judge Me application. So you need to choose your language here. So by default, it's going to be English. And where would you like to install it? So if you want to install it to a different team, but currently, I only have one team here. Let's just choose the default one here and just click on Start Setup. Now, as you can see, we only have three steps to start using Judge Me here. Now, first is we need to enable the app embed now in this case go ahead and click on enable app embed and from here it's going to open up your shopify store or the editor for your shopify store and it should actually reject you to embed or app embed section now in this case let's just wait for it and in this case as you can see it is now enabled so make sure that it is actually enabled and just click on the save at the top right to save your changes and we could go ahead and go back into the enable app embed now in this case let's go ahead and click on next step now, once you've done that, it's going to ask you to install the review widget. So let's go ahead and click on review, uh, install review widget. It should open up your editor for your website again, and it should actually automatically add the review widget. In this case, it's going to be located at the left panel here. So in this case, as you can see, we now have the app widget here. So whenever we actually scroll down a bit here, you should be able to see your app widget. As you can see right now, it has the customer reviews. So this is only a placeholder here. So by the way, if you click on the review widget here, you should be able to manage the app itself. And basically, uh, that's it. Now in this case, let's just go back into here, but make sure to save your changes first to make sure that we actually save our changes. Go back and just click on next step. Now, finally, we have the install preview badge. Now, in this case, you click on the install preview badge here. It's going to redirect you to the editor page again, which in this case, you just need to follow the steps for you to uh, basically install the preview badge. Now, in this case, it's going to load up again. Just wait for it until it's actually added. As you can see, the star rating has now been added. So as you can see, it's going to be added under the product information. So whenever you scroll down a bit here, you should be able to see the star. As you can see right now, we have a five star view on this specific product here. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on save at the top right again. And as you can see, we were able to add our uh, product review here or star rating. Now once you've done that, just click on the finish option here. And that should actually redirect you to the app section for judge.me reviews. Now, if you want to save this for ease of use or ease of access, just click on the pin to your navigation icon here and you'll be able to pin it into your section here. Now, in this case, there's going to be a lot of things that you can do here or view here in Judge Me application. If you're selling for the uh, reviews, so if, if you have like a specific reviews here, this is where you'll be able to see it. So, like, for example, the ratings, uh, orders from Judge Me, question received, trust scores, uh, review new generated, reviews collected, and reviews requests or sent. Now, also, we have the reviews in section here and the last question. So if you want to view your reviews or view all the reviews, just click on view all reviews dashboard here and you'll be able to see your reviews. Now, in this case, if you want to import reviews from a different website, just click on import reviews here and choose the appropriate ones here. So you need to have a CSV file for it for you to be able to uh, basically import it. Now, also, we have the questions and answers questions. If you want to import the questions and answers, you could go ahead and do that. But it should also have or should be in the CSV file format as well. 
Now, if you want to export your views, choose the export publisher views, export hidden reviews, or export archive reviews if you want to. Now, in this case, you have the question and answer sections as well, and the products and groups if you want to view that. So this is where our products uh, is going to be located. Now, if you want to collect reviews at the left side here, as you can see, you should be able to basically uh, schedule requests. Now, in this case, it is a great way for you to get feedback from product that you have. So if you want to ask a specific client about a specific uh, a product, uh, ask them for reviews, you can go ahead and do that. So if you want to schedule manual reviews, just click on this one, add a reviewer's name, the reviewer's email, the product that you have, and the order fulfillment date. Now, in this case, make sure that the email here is correct because the they will be able to see that specific email in their account and that's where they'll be uh, giving their reviews. Now, in this case, when, once we actually go back here, we have all their sections and things that we can do here like automatic requests, emails, so customize your email templates whenever you're asking for reviews, and even for email uh, email templates here, which is a good way for you to save time if you want to use a, an email template repeatedly for uh, getting reviews. We have moderation here, so publish review, news, new reviews automatically, or if you want to uh, uh, basically get or filter out reviews first, you can go and choose the publish reviews manually here. Now, we also have the SMS and push uh, uh, setting here and the review notifications if you want to. So, reply notification email, if you want to enable that, media reminder email, Q&A notification email, review confirmation email as well. Now, we also have the widgets here, which in this case enables us to actually manage how it actually looks like. Like, for example, we actually added the review widget here. So, if you click on manage here, it should redirect you to the uh, edit section for that specific widget. Now, in this case, you could change a few things here. Like, for example, the Go widget team here, but you need to have an upgraded plan, plan for you to basically start using it. Now, also, you have the option to change your color itself. Like, for example, if you want to make this red, as you can see, it is now in the red color, which is something really cool if you want to uh, fit your uh, review section to the aesthetics of your website or your store. This is how you actually do it. Now, there's going to be a lot of customization here. Like, for example, custom star color, uh, review uh, filter color, and a lot more. So we have the media upload, so they can upload photos and videos if you allow that, and even mute videos if by default if you want to as well. Now we also have the MIDI grid, so show recent photos and videos in a grid if you want to, and show product medals if you want to as well. So in this case, uh, some of the features here are only accessible via an awesome plan in uh, Judge Me, so you need to have the upgrade plan for you to access that. But you also have the option here to change or customize your header, widget body, and widget form. So just click on the customize link here, and you'll be able to change the form here, as you can see, the body, if you want to uh, change those. Now, we also have the marketing and social section here, which in this case helps you market and uh, basically connect to your clients. Now, we also have the gener general settings here if you want to. So if you want to change your uh, like admin language, your date and location formatting, multi-language store, installations, or your plan if you want to upgrade that. As you can see, we have the awesome plan here, which is $15 a month if you want to use it. Now, we also have the branding here, the integrations, uh, notifications, and a lot more. But yeah, so that's how you set up or use Judge Me here if you want to uh, basically add reviews into your website, which is something really, really cool if you want to further uh, add trust in your store here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.